Welcome back to Sunshine Tidings and welcome back to Fixing Up the Commonwealth. I hope you're well. Happy New Year. The first Fixing Up the Commonwealth of the year of 2018. And this is a relatively quick video today. I thought I would start with working on the um, marketplace today. And um, this build was relatively straightforward except for the start and you'll see what I mean in a second you can see in the front there I've actually added a little stairway in for you and um, I'll, it, basically because there were some pathing issues when I was playing around and experimenting with the build I'm about to do and another one and um, there were some pathing issues so I had to build a little stairway there right in front of us and um, it seems to have fixed all the pathing issues up. So let's get into it. So back into normal programming. And um, it's fair to say I cut out a lot of the faffing in this video. Hence why it's so short. Um, I probably spent nearly an hour doing this build. But it was basically because there was a few issues right at the start. That just take took forever. Just the nature of all that sometimes. Um, you'll run into these issues. So I'm going to start. In a slightly different way, I've never built like this before really. I'm going to start with a little metal frame and these are in the warehouse tab. I think they may be from warehouse rearranged, uh, sorry, workshop rearranged, I beg your pardon. And um, uh, warehouse rearranged is the other mod. And I'm going to use these metal posts and these metal kind of cross beams to start with. now. One of the major things when you're doing this is to try and get it straight, straight up. If you don't get it straight to start with, it will cause you major issues. And you'll see right here, I put this in and you can see already it's off line. And that's what causes me some major faffing around, pull it apart and it takes me forever to get this. Now, um, I'll show you what I end up doing to solve this in a sec, but... Um, it's fair to say I probably spent about 20 minutes trying to get this corner correct. That happens. So here we go. So I still haven't got it right at this point. And then it suddenly, the light bulb goes on and I realise what I could do. And I've obviously gone and had to sleep as well because it's a bit light on that. What I do is I get one of these single walls like this and I just pop it in there. Now, these posts are very forgiving because they will um, they'll snap. Just like that. Bang. And then that should line it all up. Now, one of the big issues I have is that that post is just a little fraction a bit too tall. Luckily, it will sink into here. A bit too far. Um, so, get this straight. Get this lined up to the height you want. Once you've got that, and I'm using place anywhere, you could use a post or whatever. Snap everything to it, and it should all line up nicely. Now, I don't get this quite right the first time, but the second time she's a charm. So, um like I say, it is really important that you um, you get this spot on before you start building the rest of it if you want to uh, copy this build or do something similar to this. Um, otherwise, it's, it will throw every single thing out. So, there we go. Um, I'll snap all these on in a second and I suddenly realise it's out. But I'm not going to show you me redoing it because you, sort of um, you sort of get the idea now of how to do this um, but again thinking of trying to come up with some new ideas for this but still get it to look as though it should be there and it fits within um, what we're trying to do with this marketplace it is kind of the influence for the marketplace if you haven't watched for a while was kind of Diamond City but um, I've tried to give it my own little twist as well I don't want it like I've said in the past I like to get some inspiration but I don't like to copy absolutely spot on with everything otherwise what's the point you've got to have a little bit of creativity now you can see that's sitting a little bit further off the concrete and i'd like and um, i do fix that up and it's just a case of getting that front um, frame right and here we go that's all fixed up now so i thought what could i do a little bit differently for the roof and i decided i might use um these cloth pieces here to come with the USO so we're going to find the piece that I want now the biggest dra drama I have is to actually find somewhere to put this piece down so I'm just working my way through all the different pieces until I find I need a actually I need a big piece to start with which is there 
Just got to find somewhere to drop it. Pick it up and put it into place or place anywhere. Just like that. And you can see I'm overlapping all those other kind of cloth um, roofs. So it's not going to be seen from below. So it's all right. So you can actually do that. Get into place. And there we go. That's about right. Is that touching? Yes, it is. Just touching that. Um, then I'm going to fill in the gaps with some smaller pieces. Um, pretty simple idea this one. I'm just going to fill that piece in there with this bit I've got now, just measuring it up and um, drop it onto the ground and again place anywhere is that my friend I don't know how I used to build with that to be honest but um, there we go, we'll just drop that in, line it up here we go, and then we'll do one on the other side and we, we've got something that looks pretty unique and a little bit different, which I like and a little bit weird, which I like as you know if you've watched me for a while here we go we'll just line that up now i don't quite get this roof 100 percent it looks as though it's covering there push it up a little bit more there we go into place and you can see suddenly there's a gap there so i don't know quite what happened there but just finagle it a little bit more there we go there is a gap there but i'm, I'm i don't mind i don't mind having that gap there okay main part of the roof on looks a bit weird I like it and um, we'll put some walls on now and I'm going to use these um, walls from um, USO because I've been itching to use them when I eventually um, figure out where I'm going here <laughs> oh yeah that's right well sorry first of all we're going to put these spikes in as supports now place this down that that looks as though it's close and that one looks as though it's close wait until we walk up to them not even not even res resembling being close and even though i place them there that actually um, is off again so i think this just adds a little element to uh makes them look like they're supported and again it looks just makes it look a little bit different these posts should come with your room um, Raiders uh, tab. And you see how that looked as though it was close. And again, with Fallout, it's all about the angle you see them at. Um, yep, I like that. So now we're going to put the walls in. And there is a tab here in the wooden tab all the way to the other end. No, up and all the way to the end. And it's called Retextures. And I'm going to use the metal. Uh, tab here now what I decided to do here is to mix up the different metal um, textures that I'm going to use and I think it's a good idea to do this and you'll see what I mean in a second so um, I'm just positioning all these um, first thing I'm going to do so you can see I'm, I'm going to flick through and just see if another one will fit in here so, so I'm going to chuck that in there like that because it will snap um, it's weird. the snapping of these is a little bit strange, but that's okay. Um, I have to persuade a couple into place, but no problem for us. We'll place it anywhere, and um, we'll just push it into there, right there. And you can see I've already used two different metal textures, and I'm going to about to use a third now. Um, and I think it actually works. All these different kind of looks, so that actually wants to go green in there. You can see it. Yep takes a little bit of time but we have it there we eventually get in there it is Bam. I don't know why what I was doing differently to get that to, to work but anyway you know put that in there that snaps nicely in there and um, yeah we got a couple of different textures in there which I like I like that kind of difference put a roof in there We'll go back to a workshop rearranged to provide some really nice roofs that will fit right in there perfectly. This long one here. There we go. Drop that in. And you can see all right, ready, we get the complete shell of this uh, market store, shop or whatever you want to call it, working for us. And um, I like it. I like it a lot. It's got quite a different feel and a different vibe about it. Um, and not that hard so I'm going to do a whole heap of anti-shimmering 
it's very important to do this and um, if you haven't got place anywhere or you're not sure you don't have your menu activated sometimes if you travel away and come back it will fix the anti shimmer as well so there's a little tip it's full of tips today now you can see where the stairs are there's a gap there we need to fill that gap with something and um, I know exactly what I want to fill it with it's just um, <laughs> I forget exactly what menu it's in see during the holidays I actually didn't fire up for that at all I done a heap of building um, on the hilltop settlement and then didn't do anything beyond that so it's like opening up a whole new game so there's one particular railing that I want to put in there that I, will f I know will fit perfectly um, and that's in vanilla extensions in the wood tab and it's that one there and then we what we could do is put, put another post in there would fit perfectly and it all kind of works in with each other so back into the warehouse tab it might go with mm, the same post might as well I was going to thinking about maybe a different one but there you go that really don't need the doorway because it frames up the doorway Nearly done, nearly finished, pretty much the, the the structure is complete, really all we'll have to do is anti-shimmer a few things and then we'll get into the tour, so I hope you've enjoyed this one guys, um, like I said it's it's good to have a couple of weeks off because you actually get some ideas, some new ideas or you know, some flashes of inspiration, so it's good, okay so let's get into the tour and you can see I've made this into a little clothing store and it's it looks i like it i like it a lot don't know why i'll take you around the inside so i've, I've decorated it up i've put some posters on the walls and barrels and boxes all the usual culprits um, let me see here we go and i've kept it very 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 um, minimal i think i need a little bit more decoration maybe a table in there a little bit more decoration in here, but essentially um, very simple little build. Okay, guys, as for next week, let me know um, what you would like to see. Would you like me to continue on with the marketplace, or should we build something a wee bit different? As ever, leave your comments below. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. And we will catch you next time on Fixing Up the Commonwealth. See ya.